Hi, this is JP from Another Lights Over Arkham. Welcome to another Arkham Horror LCG playthrough. This time we are playing the Machination Through Time scenario, and I am playing with Jenny Barnes. And this is the blind playthrough for me for this scenario. I just haven't had time to play it with Edge of the Earth and other stuff I've been filming. So I decided to just jump in blind and see how it goes. And as you can see, the scenario layout for True Solo is quite immense. Uh, we have all of the areas in play at the same time, and we can move to the uh, past area. Uh, we have the present area, and this is the future area. Uh, the Tindalus uh, location is connected to all of these portal locations, which surround the central location, so we can move from the Tindalus to anywhere. And we start at the Tindalus. But first, I think we uh, should look at uh, Jenny's deck quickly. Ja, poikki tästä. Okay, and uh, here is the deck I'm using for Jenny. Uh, I based this on a deck on ArkhamDB.com, uh, which was used in the Edge of the Earth campaign, and I think this is the final deck. I let, left out up, uh, all the campaign-specific cards and also in the thick of it, because this is, uh, uh, we have the ability to take the uh, experience without the, uh, in the thick of it and the trauma that it gives. So uh, we have basic stuff like flashlights, uh, magnifying glasses from uh, the of glass for Jenny. Um, I think I'm just going through what are the uh, experience cards here. So uh, Jean is a really powerful ally to have. And of course we have Leo De Luca, uh, which will give us uh, extra actions uh, for those we have of course one charisma so we ha can have both in play at the same time uh, moxie is a newer card from the edge of the earth and i haven't had a chance to play with the moxie level 3 yet so i decided to add it into the deck and it is possibly really good for willpower checks and uh, agility checks and gives us a good uh, buffer then uh, I am playing the Taboo list, so uh, Streetwise is a really powerful card and costs a lot of experience. Then uh, newer cards, we have the Black Market. Uh, this gives us the ability to search for uh, put cards revealed and then play them as they were in my hand. So this might be useful. Uh, easy mark just for uh, resource generation. Then uh, this card from Edge of the Earth was really interesting to me when I was thinking about Jenny deck. So I, I'm happy to see that Savant is in the deck. So Savant is a skill card that uh, gives you a boost from your lowest skill value. So as Jenny has three all, above, all around, so uh, this is a three wild icon skill card. Then uh, those were all the... Um, experience costing cards uh, then because we are playing standalone uh, we have 38 experience in the deck I had to add a bunch of weaknesses so we have uh, internal injury then we have uh, the 13th vision and then we have the accursed follower so this might be really annoying for us uh, throughout the game, but we'll see. Uh, then the last card is actually indebted. And uh, funny thing, we got indebted and uh, it lowers our resources, but uh, I'll just get to it in a moment. But one of the uh, plot cards gives us two re uh, resources, so we start the game with five either way. 
Uh, I think that is all I wanted to say about the deck. Well, no, it, it should be a good investigating deck and there are not that many ways to fight. But we have a gene to bump the enemies out of our way, which is really useful. Uh, and we'll see how that goes. But uh, let's hop back to the scenario. So uh, we have set up the scenario, as I said, uh, we have the present locations, past locations and future locations. So cards that say present uh, affect the present, past affect the past and future affect the future. So uh, we'll see what that actually means. But uh, then we had these machination cards, which we had to resolve for past, present and future. There are a lot of puff text which I won't go through, but we have setup instructions here, so we place cards in play depending on what it says and where it says to put them in. So we have uh, Nikola Tesla uh, in uh, River Dogs, uh, Mary in uh, Arkham Gazette, uh, Ezra in Arkham Advertiser in the present, and that is all. Uh, then we have set the side cards and I won't go through those yet. Then we have this plot card. Uh, oh, we, these are the setup cards. Then we have one mach machination card uh, which has a setup. So um, it was a bit unclear first uh, that you should follow instructions for your relevant eras below. But for true solo, first I thought that the relevant era is just the present but it's actually all of them. So we'll just do everything from here to have all the necessary cards in play. So it uh, says to put cards into play and set aside. So uh, for example, past uh, set Thomas Corrigan aside out of play, he has been abducted. Place uh, Mary Zelensky at Arkham Gazette, set the Edwin Bennett enemy aside out of play. Present and future set Thomas Corrigan and Mary Zelinski aside out of play, they have been abducted. And uh, uh, this also can be played as uh, epic multiplayer, so there are instructions for those cards. And if you just follow the instructions in the campaign booklet, the setup should be pretty simple. There are maps to lay out the maps and etc. Then we have this plot card. So there are three different machinations and plot cards and that makes this a uh, random um, and replayable scenario because you might get different ones and there are a lot of combinations with uh, six cards which you pick to with random station uh, we have the setup uh, we have the mob troubles plot so we set the old Sadie Sheldon enemy at and all three copies of the Sheldon Gang enemy aside out of play. We remove uh, the Turthra enemy from the game. Uh, you, we make a deal with the old Sadie Sheldon and we gain two resources at the present and we start at the present. So we start with five, with, with, even with in depth in play. Then um, we have some actions here, but I won't go into them this point but yeah that is basically it uh, we have objective to uh, restore the timeline by completing the objective on each story card and these are the story cards then if three uh, let's see if Th Thomas Corrigan and Mary Zelensky are, are at non tindalus location in all three eras and each era has no story cards in play advance. So we have to go first to the past. Then uh, we need to do the, those stuff, then go to the present and future and do that. But we'll see how that goes because uh, I am playing through solo and this is a blind play playthrough. So I don't have that high of an expectation to succeed at first try, but we'll see. So I think that is all I wanted to say about the game uh, or the scenario and the deck, so let's get started. Okay, and we are ready to begin. So uh, just to 
quickly go through there are uh, eras which I explained already then there are a lot of new keywords like time paradox uh, story cards announce abducted and rescued alert patrol global values so uh, the main ones are uh, the announce won't affect us in true solo basically uh, abducted and rescued. When a scientist as it is abducted via card or game text, remove all counters from it and set it aside out of play. Remain out of play until it is rescued by a card or game text. text. Then uh, a patrol we already have had in the, um, the ho hotel Excelsior scenario. So basically enemies move according to the patrol rule on them. But yeah. I think that is everything. Uh, we have shuffled the encounter deck and uh, our draw deck, so let's draw our opening hand of five cards. And I also forgot that I have another day, another dollar times two in the deck, so forgot to add those, so I forgot to add the resources, so I'll just add them now. Uh, as always, I have the deck list link in the video description if you want to check the deck out. So, let's see. Okay, so we redraw weaknesses. Weaknesses. Okay. So, for sure, we want Gene in play for at the beginning, then... We have plenty of cards to investigate, but I think perception not needed. I think we'll keep the rest and draw one. Okay, some movement. Well, uh, no assets to play, which is a bit of a bummer, but except for Jean, but at least that's something. And it, uh, she is costly, so uh, we probably want to play her and start uh, moving through the locations in the past and start figuring out stuff. Okay, just a quick shuffle. I don't want to get those weaknesses bundled up, so maybe we can manage those. So first action, I will play Jean down. So Jean immediately gives us a boost to our intellect and agility. Then I will move, and uh, I think we will go talk to Mary first in the cassette, so we can move from here to any port allocation, and this is port allocation, so let's see what happens here. So Arkham Gazette, test any skill 4 if you succeed gain one clue from the token pool, remove one newspaper from this location, place one... Uh, from the token pool on this location. Look at the top five cards and encounter deck. Add one to the victory display and put the rest to the top of the display. I have no idea how to remove one newspaper, so we'll just ignore that for now. And uh, uh, there is a forced ability. When a scientist asset would be defeated, it is abducted instead. And also, uh, when you move to a location, if one or more scientist assets are at your location, move any number of them with you. So we can start moving Mary around. So I'll just pick up Mary, place Mary here. So we have Mary uh, in tow. There is one clue here. So I think uh, it is a low shroud place, so we might just investigate. Or I think I'm going to set up for next turn. So we'll actually fast play uh, working hunch, grab this clue. Or hmm. Well we have a four. So let's not do that yet. I'll just play uh, easy mark, gain two resources, draw and uh, draw a card get perception and that is our turn
Uh, we ready up now. Enemy actions will probably upkeep. We draw one card. We gain two resources of you or Jenny. And that is the first turn. Let's go to the next turn. We add one doom. And I forgot to mention that in the standard difficulty we already have one doom in play at the start on easy. We wouldn't have any. And on hard we would have two. On expert we would have three. So we have added the doom. We'll get an income card. Open portal. Uh, revelation. Take one damage. Test ability three. If you fail, take one additional damage and move. Indalus. So that is not really nice. Uh, we have agility 4. So we take one damage. And I think I will use the scout ahead to boost this. So we are 5, uh, I mean 6 versus 3. So hoping that we won't fail this. It is a 0, so we pass. So we just take the one damage and that is brutal if we are having cars that just deal you damage without a test. So, uh, first action I will play the magnifier. Uh, the flashlight actually, so it has three charges. We'll spend one charge immediately to investigate. So let's see what Mary does actually. So exhaust Mary, uh, investigate if you succeed. Instead of discovering a clue at your location, gain one clue from the token pool. So we can get clues more easily. So I think I'll just grab this first. So it's plus one and we are testing against zero. So we grab this clue. And I'm using Mary's ability and using the perception for this test. So we are uh, six versus two. It is a skull, and skull is an X. Uh, X is 1 plus the number of story cards in the display, so it's still 1. But we'll get 1 clue from the token pool by exhausting Mary. And that is our whole... Oh yeah, and we draw a card. So uh, that is the whole turn. Uh, we ready up. No enemies, we draw. And we gain one, 2 resources. So. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add a doom. The encounter focus for this turn is a ghastly sager. Okay, so the nearest location, uh, patrol, the nearest location, the scientist assets. Ghastly sager gets plus one fight with while in this. In, at the past location, plus two fight present at the end of the enemy phase. If Gasly Satur is ready, deal one damage to each scientist asset at its location. So it uh, spawns engaged with us. I think we have to evade this and run away. Okay, let's see. Uh, first action, evade. So we are evading uh, uh, four against two, so I'm not even boosting. Well, I'm boosting it with Jean, her, uh, Jean card because we already have her in play. So uh, we are five versus two. It is a minus one. So it is evaded. We'll just place it on location and then we'll move. To, let's see where we can move. We can move to River Docks, so we'll just move there. So it is a one shot per invest uh, per investigator and one clue, and uh, spend two resources to or exhaust the scientist asset at this location. Place one resource from the token pool to onto the present or future River Docks as a shipment. Limit once per turn. So. No idea what that does, but I think I will do that. But we'll pick up uh, Nikola Tesla. So I'm just massing this here. And uh, we have if you, Thomas Morgan, Mary Selinski are at the past. Yeah. If Thomas Morgan, Mary Selinski, and Nikola Tesla are all at the same location, spend two clues to prove an honest If you are at the past, Miss Catherine, you know, spend. 
Okay, so we'll just grab Nikola's, Nikola Tesla and no idea how to get this ball rolling, but I think last action we'll just investigate and grab some clues here. So I'm investigating. Well, um, I'm actually doing the shipment thing, so we'll put this to the present river docks. Maybe that is important. Okay. I have no idea. Maybe it's just resources, but we'll see. And that is our whole turn. Uh, we ready all the cards, enemy actions, nothing happens. We go to upkeep, we draw a card and gain two resources. So actually, uh, I'm changing these fives. Uh, these two are five resource. Okay, and that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another doom. Encounter card is open portal again. So we take another damage, and I'll take it on on myself. Then we'll test. So I'm testing four versus. I think we're pretty set on resources. I'm I'm using the easy mark to boot. So we are five versus three. It is a minus one, so we succeed. So first action, I'll investigate here. Uh, four versus one. Elder sign, so it is plus one for each resource, so it's plus ten. So we'll succeed by a lot. A lot. Next, uh, we'll move to Miskatonic University. So, double action, remove one seed from this location, announce a free seed has been planted, gain one resource for each scientist asset at this location. Uh, I have no idea. Oh yeah, uh, last time. At the last location, we had to spend two resources to do the action we did. Here, mm, well, there is one clue, so I'm thinking of just trying to get that. So I'm actually just paying uh, to fast grab that clue. And I'll keep on moving. So we'll go to the childhood home. If Thomas and Mary have met, and Thomas Corrigan and Mary Zelinski are at this location, and now Thomas and Mary have married, uh, if Corrigan Industries has been founded, place one resource from the totem pool to Corrigan Industries as a time capsule group, limit once per game. Not really useful because we still have to find Thomas Corrigan somehow. I have no idea how that, that is done. Uh, Oh yeah, uh, we have to rescue Thomas Corrigan from the Tindaloo, so last action, we just move back here. So next turn we go to Tindaloo and rescue Thomas Corrigan, go wet them and uh, start continuing from there. So, and, uh, uh, the enemy hunt patrols over here. That is that, so we ready up, we draw a card and gain one resource, uh, two resources. And that is that round, let's go to the next round. Uh, we are at five of the nine doom, and count the card for this turn is Lost in Time. Shuffle a non-story asset you control into your deck, moving all damage and horror from that asset if no asset is shuffled into your deck by this effect, choose and discard three cards from the hand. 
Okay, so shuffle the flashlight. Lucky we had that in play. So the flashlight is gone, it's lost in time. Then we'll start our turn. So I'll just fast play the magnifying glass. Uh, first action will move to Tindalus. Second action will test uh, agility 4, but I'm spending 3. Uh, I'm actually, yeah, so I, agility 2 actually, but I'm still spending uh, 3 resources to use Streetwise to boost. That for test by three, so we are at seven. It is a minus one, so we rescue uh, Thomas Corrigan now. We'll move I think I'll check the river docks now what that what that resource does so we'll move over there so remove one shipment from this location gain four resources or one crew from the token pool uh, spend three resources or exhaust to sign this asset to this location place one resource from the token so I think we won't be doing this more because we are Pretty set with resources, but there is an easy clue here, so we will do that. So we'll just investigate uh, four versus uh, five versus one. This is a minus one, so we'll grab this clue. And then Oh yeah, this comes into play exhaust. But yeah, that is all we can do. Uh, this guy patrols, so it patrols to Tindalus. Unfortunately, we're ready up. So place this enemy over here. We draw a card, we get Nimble, and we gain control. So Nimble actually helps us quite a bit for next turn. But that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are at 6 Doom. Encounter card is uh, Merging Timelines. Discard the top 5 cards of your deck for each card in your hand that matches one of the discarded cards. Discard the card from your hand and lose one action. Shuffle each weakness discarded by this effect into the deck. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Savant. I'm out of here, Moxie, Lone Wolf. So searching for Easy We Shuffle back. So we didn't hit any, but un unfortunately we would have wanted to get the savant into hand. Okay, so that is the meta space. First action will move. We just ignore that. Oh yeah, we can do that as a free triggered ability. So we gain four resources or a clue. I'll grab a clue. We're gonna need some clues pretty soon. So, uh, yeah, first action will move here. This enemy engages us. We'll evade it. I'm committing nimble, so we are uh, 5 versus 2. Minus 3, so we pass. But we don't want to pass that much. At least this guy is evaded. Then uh, we keep on moving, so we'll move over here. And that is our turn, so move, evade, move. Next turn we can start progressing these uh, things, so... Okay. Uh, 
think we can do this. If you are a past Miskatonic University, spend two resources. Her investigator announced funding for the observer. The inquiry has begun. So we'll do that. And we'll place this on the card. So we still have two things to do there. I have no memory if I took any resources last turn, but it is what it is. Uh, that is that round. We ready up cards. Uh, we gain a card. It is uh, working on hunts and we gain two resources. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We are at uh, let's see, seven doom, nine encounter card is broken space. If you are at past location, lose three resources. Well, damn. Three resources. We still have four, so we're quite okay. And that is it. Okay. Uh, first action. We will. Uh, if you, Thomas Corrigan, and Mary Zielinski are all at the past Miskatonic University, announce Thomas and Mary have met. So they have met. Then, if Thomas Corrigan, Mary Zielinski, and Nikola Tesla are all same location spent two clues as to announce Thomas and Mary are inspired by Nikola Tesla. So we'll do both of those. So this goes into the victory display. Then uh, we have to spend these clues. So those both took actions. Last action will move over here. And I will next turn marry the Thomas and Mary. Because that sounds like a lovely thing to do. <laughs> okay, well, uh, that was my turn. Enemy actions. This enemy hunt uh, patrols over here. We draw a card. We get Savant. And we gain two resources. That is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we are at eight. Doom. Encant card is from all angles past. Uh, so test agility four. If you fail and you are at past location, exhaust all assets at, at it. Okay. So I'm testing. Uh, four versus four, so I'll spend three resources. I think I need some of the assets, maybe. Oh yeah, uh, I could have used Jean a while ago, but I'll, I'll use her this round. So uh, seven versus seven versus four. Minus one, we pass. First action. Let's get these guys hitched. So they are married. And whatever that means, I'll place a token to remind me that that has been done. The second one we haven't done. So the second action will move here. Then uh, we have. Do you enter after you move to a location, exhaust in per door, move a clue or a non elite enemy from a connect? From a connecting location to your location, or vice versa. So we are exhausting Jean, moving this enemy over here, so it's past us, and we'll continue moving to Tindalos. So we'll go to the future now, or, or the present now, to resolve them. So let's see what we need to do in the present. So if you are at the present Miskatonic University location, funding for the observatory has begun. Announce the observatory is built. So we we'll go there because we did. It. Oh yeah. Well, we didn't plant any seeds, but we have done the funding part. Yes. Okay. So we can do that. Then, if the observatory is built, Thomas and Mary are inspired by the Yes, and Thomas Corrigan, uh, Mary Selinsky, and Ezra Graves are at the present Miskatonic Spent two clues. So we'll have to go get Ezra then. Thomas and Mary have met, and Thomas Corrigan and Mary are he, all the magic has shop spent on resource. And as Corrigan Industries has been founded, so we probably need to do that also. 
Okay, that is our turn. Uh, enemy turn. This enemy hunt uh, patrols here. And uh, that is that round. We draw a card, gain two resources of black market. Mm, I think we're pretty well set up, so we maybe don't need that. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a doom, so the agenda actually advances. Let's see what happens now. Are we being too slow? Because this feeling that we are making progress, but do we have time? Okay, so time bends. If the anomaly is in space, okay. If the mob trouble story card is in play, flip it over, shuffle all three set aside. Sheldon gang enemies in to the encounter deck. If the present TikTok club is in place on the set aside old Sadie Sheldon enemy and it's So we get this. Uh, so old Sadie Sheldon spawns at the TikTok club. We'll see what happens with him in a moment. Then we have these Sheldon gang members, so I think we can shuffle them into the encounter deck. So this actually flips now, not before. So if the depth has been paid, spend one crew as group, search the play area, and counter deck and encounter this your file for Sheldon and enemy and add it to the victor display. If you search the encounter deck, shuffle it. This opportunity does not cause attacks of opportunity. So, objective if all three Sheldon gang enemies are in the victory display, add this card to the victory display. Okay. all these guys in here so I think well uh, all Sadie Sheldon has aloof uh, each Sheldon gang enemy gets plus one fight and plus one evade parlay test intellect to if you succeed spend three uh, resources as a group to add all Sadie Sheldon to the victory display and announce the depth has been paid I think we are doing that to get rid of that. Those guys have the resources for that. Okay, then uh, time marches on, so forth. Same force ability and nine. So let's see how far we can get in this game. Uh, first action, we'll move over here. We'll do the parlay. Uh, we are testing. Uh, I'm spending one of the Intel reports, so we have dirt on you guys. So we can have a. We can have a. Hmm. Blanking. Oh, yeah. Uh, 4 plus 2, 6 versus 2 intellect test. It is a skull, so it is a minus two now, um, because we have one card there. So we still pass. So we spend three resources. So the debt has been paid. Then uh, the debt has been paid. So next I will spend one clue as a group search the oh yeah uh, so uh, old Sadie Sheldon goes to the victory display then we'll search the encounter deck for one of these guys It in the victory display, and we had to spend one clue for that. So 
the next turn we'll just uh, spend it to get rid of that. Okay. Uh, that is our whole turn. Uh, we, uh, this enemy hunts over here. We ready up, we draw a card, we get internal injury, which is really nasty. And we gain two resources, so that slows us down a bit. So that is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a doom and counter card for this turn is for all, from all angles, so agility 4 again, if we fail present location, take 1 direct damage, deal 1 damage to each ally asset at your location, so definitely won't, don't want to fail that. Mm, I'm playing Savant for this. So uh, we are testing 7 versus 4. It is an elder thing. Is uh, minus three if you fail deal one damage to one or one horror to an ally asset at your location. Well, we just barely succeeded, so lucky for Savant. Okay, then we'll just repeat the spend one blue as a group search for a Sheldon Gang member. And we'll do that again. Okay, so all of those are removed and we'll place this into the victory display. So we have uh, managed to at least <laughs> do the plot. Big shuffle to the encounter deck. And last action, we'll move over here. And this is Ezra Graves and I was in, in our company. Mm. Put it over here. Uh, let's keep it turned like so. Oh yeah. Um, these guys take up an ally slot, which is annoying. So uh, we have one, two. So this won't, but these two. Okay, so uh, Jean actually has to go, which is a shame. I didn't notice those ally slots because this, uh, these two didn't have them. But it is what it is. So let's see what Ezra does. Uh, action during any investigation turn, exhaust Ezra Graves and spend one resource. Immediately take an action as if it were a turn. That is a good one. So, Akam Advertise, just spend one resource ready, assign this asset at its location, limit once, once per round, remove one newspaper from its location. I have no idea <laughs> how to get those newspapers. Maybe it's all in the future. Okay. So, we'll take uh, one direct damage from the internal injury. This enemy hunts us, engages us, let's see. So, mm. okay, so it attacks, so it isn't ready, so it hits us for one damage. Damage is piling up, we need to do something about it. So we're ready up, we draw a card, we get easy mark, gain one, uh, two resources, so... That is that round, let's go to the next round. We add a Doom, Encounter card is. Merging timelines, so we discard five cards, and if we have something in hand, we'll see what happens then. Okay, we have black market. This should shuffle back. Ok, 
Okay, so. So we lose one action and have to discard that card. So we lost black market, which is not a big deal at the moment. Oh yeah, and there's one clue here. So I'm actually just fast actioning this clue from here. We will evade. Oh yeah, we lost one action. So oh yeah, first action we will evade. I'm committing the easy mark. So we are now four versus two. It is a plus one. So we evade the Sager, then we have to move, so we'll go to the, uh, let's see, we'll go to the Tindalos and next turn to the Miskatan University and then start doing this. So let's see, if Thomas and Mary have met and Thomas scoring and Mary Senisky are at the old year magic shop, so we need to go to the old year magic shop after the university. So that is our round. We ready cards up. Draw a card. We get the 13th vision. Oh yeah, we got one in direct damage. Next turn, I think we need to move and get rid of the intern injury. So we'll just pile this on here. And we gain two resources, so that is that round. I'll change these to a three, save some space. And yeah, that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We add another Doom, encounter Cardis, abducted. If there are no ally assets at your location, abducted gain says otherwise test uh, willpower five. If you fail, exhaust an ally asset at your and be five, four, or two, one, and then exhaust all ally assets. Oh dear. Uh, well, I think Nikola Tesla can be abducted. We'll just check. If you are Thomas Mary, Papa Nikola and Tom. So we don't need Nikola Tesla for this card. Well, uh, we'll just test it. So I'm testing three versus five. So I'm failing this and I'm failing on uh, evens. It is a plus one. So four versus five, we still fail. So we deal five or and these or all are exhausted. It is still okay. But Nikola Tesla has been abducted, so we'll Set aside up to pay. Then okay, uh, let me double check one thing quickly. Okay, so as I feared I made a grave mistake with the cards because I forgot the era rule. So, uh, because these guys have the uh, past trait, they should be in the Tindalus and can't go into the present locations. So we need to actually find the present versions of them. Uh, oh dear. So, we'll just play on from here like we should have. So these guys are all in the Indalus. Also, Nikola Tesla would have been left here, but we had him in tow because we were at Tindalus at the time of the abducted. So Nikola Tesla is abducted and these all are 
that okay so this is a bit of a it goes off okay well it happens new scenario so let's continue okay uh, first action will move second action double action will get rid of the inter injury that is our turn well this enemy hunts here and then it damages all of these guys here and yeah uh, Tindalus is past present and future so all of these can move into the Tindalus then uh, we draw a card Moxie that gains resources uh, that is that round let's go to the next round we add a doom four of nine and counter card is another ghastly sager so this is uh, I think I need some more ways to fight in this deck because now the enemies are getting too annoying well um, Yeah, so, first action, we will evade, uh, actually fast play, we play Moxie. We'll evade uh, five, uh, four versus two, because Moxie booster us up one by one. Uh, zero, we succeed, so this uh, Sager is evaded. Yeah, this already. Uh, second action we'll do the action over here to see that the observatory is built and, uh, and we'll go over here so this engages us these are in tow now but I won't move them because I will go I will next turn uh, try to get the uh, present versions out okay so that is that round uh, we'll ready we'll draw a card lone wolf a bit late and we gain two resources and we'll put a five resource over here then um, this ready is oh yeah that one sator hit us so we'll put the damage we we'll have to put it on ourselves so uh, not looking good but it is what it is but we'll see so that was that round let's go to the next round we had a doom and count card is hound of tindalus patrol nearest location with the science as it hound of Tindalus gets plus one health while it is at present location and plus two health while it, uh, it is at a future location. Pause at the end of the enemy phase if hound of Tindalus is ready, deal one horror to each scientist asset. So it's same as the Sator but at Tindalus. So I think we are we are near the end for this playthrough, but we'll play it out. So um, we'll have to evade. The Hound, I'm spending Lone Wolf. Actually, let's do this the other way. I'm spending three resources with Streetwise, so uh, we are seven versus three. Minus one. Uh, if you are at Tindalus, you automatically fail, so I failed. So, <coughs> let's try again. And the spending three street boys minus four, but uh, we are seven versus three, so we eight. Then we do the same for the Sager, but the other Sager comes and kills us. Okay. And uh, yeah, we succeed. 
Okay, so enemy face, this enemy hunts over here, eats us. So Graves is uh, abducted. <laughs> and that is our turn. We ready up, we draw, we get <laughs> Jenny's twin fortifies, but that is a bit too late. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Okay, so we are a doom. So the problem here is we are at six of nine doom. And let's see the encounter card. So abducted. Well, uh, Mary is abducted. Okay. Uh, oh yeah, we'll power five though. We can use mob to boost ourselves at six and uh, see what happens. Well, we fail and Mary goes there. And every elf is exhausted. Not this, but this. Okay. And. Uh, yeah, the problem is that we only have three resort, uh, three actions, and we have three enemies on us, so we have to evade, evade, and uh, maybe move with the Hound of Tindal. So we'll do that. So we are evading the first satyr. Four versus. Oh, yeah. Uh, non direct damage, so yeah. Uh, never mind. We are not defeated yet because of the mobs. Is up. Let's see. So we, if we take uh, horror, we have so we have to evade the hound so we don't lose mobs. So I'm spending three resources, so seven versus three. Skull is a uh, Four, five, six. So, skull is a minus seven. We fail. Uh, we try again. Uh, four versus three. Zero. We evade the hound. Last action, we'll evade one of the satyrs. So, we are just trading water here. And it is an automatic fail. So, we take two damage. The enemy face, they have to go on Moxie. And uh, let's see. Yeah. We ready up, we draw a card. It is the uh, curse follower, so it's somewhere farthest from us. So childhood home is a good spot, so at the end of the enemy face we start adding curse tokens. Yeah, we are pretty much spooked here, but let's see. Let's play it out. So that is that round. We can do the horses and let's go to the next round. We had a doom and count the parties. Uh, tear in time test. Uh, will power three for each point you fail by. You must either lose or nature or take four. Uh, testing four versus three. Minus three if you fail, deal one damage or one horror to an ally, asset at the location, so Thomas takes damage. Just okay. Lose one action or take one horror. We lose uh, that was a minus three, so we are testing four versus so we fail by two, so we lose two actions. Uh, our only action this turn is to evade the hound. But no, we will uh, evade one of the satyrs. It is a fail, so that is end game. Um, let's see. So uh, these enemies hit us. So uh, first we one damage here, which defeats the Moxie, then we take one damage, uh, one horror, and then we take one damage. Well, okay, we have one health remaining. 
I I won't even do it. So he placed <laughs> that there, so we died. The damage so we can end this pain. <laughs> so um, as a true solo scenario, I think uh, this is a interesting one. Not a, at any way my favorite. Just way too much to explore by yourself and let's see if this would advance so we would be defeated so yeah uh, the doom clock is pretty hard for this so uh, we weren't even past the second card and I, I, I made a big mistake with the assets so I had past assets at present locations which was not Possible and I should have started to uh, rescue the present versions of them, but it is what it is. So still, I think this is an interesting scenario and as a um, epic multiplayer or or a uh, like twelve player game with three four player tables, this would be an awesome scenario. But uh, alas, I don't have that uh, chance where I live. So maybe I will play this over on the net with friends later as a epic multiplayer. But until then, I think this won't see that much of, uh, table time for me. But still, a fun uh, try, and I will definitely try this a couple of more times of camera to see how it goes and if I can even beat it through solo. So still, hope you guys like this. Play through. Thanks for watching, and until next time.